What's up guys? Chris from Closet Weave here. And we're back in my closet to watch episode 6 of Zom 100 Bucket List of the Dead. So last episode, uh, I think it's been like a week or two since uh, the last episode aired. So glad it, it's back. Um, but Akira uh, remembered his childhood dream of wanting to be a superhero. And then he found, uh, they went to an aquarium, him and Kensho, uh, to find a shark suit because those resist the bites uh, from sharks, so it should work against the zombies. And we saw it in action. And then um, the the girl from the convenience store, Shizuka, uh, was with the crew that uh, was on the bus. And then Akira helped save. And then they had to deal with that zombie shark. Um, they they did that super punch with the batteries. Akira and Shizuka and Kensho being naked all worked together. To, to take it down and then at the end um akira smooth man had that line telling shizuka that he's precious that she's precious to him and then they exchanged they finally exchanged contact info because shizuka uh said she sees no risk in sharing uh her contact with him and now kensho and akira are going to uh akira's parents where they live i believe so Let's see what happens next. Let's jump into episode 6 of Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, RV of the Dead. Oh, that one wants a roly. <laughs> <laughs> you can have anything you want in the zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Get a solid gold watch. <laughs> uh oh, here it is. Yup. Now everything's starting to go out. Electricity, water. Oh, with all the lights, the electricity's out, you can see the stars. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, memories with the with the fan. Gunma. They're going to Gunma. <laughs> Is that a water gun? <laughs> why, are you, why are you bringing that? <laughs> Time to leave that life behind. Back to the countryside. An RV. Yup. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go find this RV. Then you guys gotta uh, reinforce it. You gotta put some, <laughs> put some weaponry around. Oh! <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> yep, Shizuka. They have the same ideas. <laughs> Come on, a risk analyst. Rejected. <laughs> she really does not want to want to uh, deal with you guys. Oh, using it against her, using her risk analyzing skills against her. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. We need something like that. <laughs> oh my god, already naked. <laughs> <laughs> Take both. <laughs> She's going spine one. Ooh. Looking like a retro van. <laughs> there you go. Everyone has something uh, they're looking for. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> the zombies made their way. <laughs> Alright, that one looks fine. <laughs> yeah, are these three gonna save the world? Oh, there's still hope. Is that what he wants his job, his next job to be? <laughs> oh my gosh. And just like that. The, the bike too? Oh no. They set up spikes. Get him in the truck. Was that set up beforehand and, or did someone just do this? Uh oh. Uh oh, they're running into a crew. Huh? What? <laughs> His boss? Or like the the supervisor? Oh no way! Okay, that's crazy. He can't escape the work life. No, the PTSD. Oh, here we go. We got the bad, the bad humans. Jesus. Then he's gonna, he's just gonna use that as leverage. I don't like it. I don't like it. Sketchy. Oh, okay. Or is he a changed man? Oh, there it is. In exchange. Nope, nope, nope. Say no, Akira. Say no. Yep, he's still in his his office supervisor mode. Alright, who's how they getting out of this? <laughs> Dang, this boy's traumatized. Oh, uh oh. What 
What are they gonna make them do? What are they gonna make them do for two days? <laughs> Looking like hard labor. Boy, boy acting like Negan with the bat. Yeah, he says two days, but that boy's sketchy. Just take a truck and dip. Take a truck and just <laughs> ram on out of there. Oh no, that's gonna make the chief angry. Yep. Akira, you just you you need to find a you need to find a way out of here. You you escaped your job for a reason. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no way. He's gonna he's gonna punish Akira. <laughs> what the frick this guy? <laughs> This guy's using zombies. And that's how he looks at you guys, like equipment, yo. Hey, you guys just need to team up on this guy. Jump him! Kencho, Shizuka, come in here. <laughs> no, y'all gotta escape somehow. No way, you're staying two days. Oh, she knows the feeling. Mm. Yeah, they're using the, that fear against you. <laughs> Dang, just like a zombie. Dang. Just when I thought we'd, we're, we're having a happy story, we're gonna go back to the family. Alright, so... Um, Akira and Kencho decided they needed to find a, an RV if they're going to travel to Gunma. They ran into Shizuka at the, the RV uh, convention type thing. They got themselves an RV and then they ran into Akira's old uh, supervisor chief at his office job. And then all that PTSD Ak Akira had came back. The chief is the same exact person, just using people. Um, uh, like equipment, like he was saying, everyone there is just equipment, they're like cogs in a machine, and uh, Akira just went right back to how he was in the office, just listening to that guy. Um, Shizuka, I guess, had some similar experience when she was a kid, and how um, the fear never leaves, and the, the people can just use that against you. So, hopefully they find a way out. I'm assuming they will. I don't. I hope they don't stay the whole two days because that supervisor has probably got some plans to keep them there longer. Um, but yeah, glad the show's back. Now we we got to deal with something other than zombies, and that's um, this chief that Akira thought he was uh, escaped from. So.
can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.